Hi everyone, it's Michelle here again, back for workout number two. This one we've called Core Crusher, which you guessed it, is focused on your core. Now, when people say core, they often just think of your abdominals and a six pack, but what we're actually talking about is the core of your body, everything that needs to be strong and stable for you to function as a human being. So we are talking a lot about your abdominals, yes, but we're also talking about your back, your glutes, and your hips, and your shoulders, okay? So there's a whole lot of activities in here. You don't need any equipment where we'll work all of those five areas to get a really strong core. Now, like I said in the first video, not only are we showing you different exercises in these workouts, we're showing you different types of ways to warm up, to, to work out. So in the first video, we did a Tabata workout. This video, we're doing what's called building blocks, which is where you work with four exercises per building block. You do the first exercise for 30 seconds, then you have 30, 30 seconds rest. Next round, you build the second exercise on. So you go 30 seconds of exercise one, 30 seconds of exercise two, 30 seconds rest. Add another building block, 30 seconds of exercise one, straight into 30 seconds of exercise two, straight into 30 seconds of exercise three. You guys are probably getting the idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two rounds of building blocks, all core exercises. All you'll need is a mat or a towel or something on the floor. We're gonna stay on the floor today for most of our workout. I'll see you soon. Now, just before you get started on your workout, what we need you to do is we need you to go to the link below this video, click it and complete all the questions. So what it will ask is it'll ask how you're feeling out of 10, zero being you feel pretty flat, 10 feeling, 10 being that you feel on top of the world. Um, put in your well-being marker, that's what we call that, how good you're feeling today. It'll ask you a few other questions. Make sure you complete the link at the start of the video. We'll remind you again when we're doing our cool down stretches to go and complete it again. So you fill the link in twice. Right now, at the start of the workout and at the end as well. Okay, enjoy your session. Okay everybody, before we start any workout, you do need to warm up. Really important to get your heart rate starting to rise and to get your muscles nice and warm. It's only going to be two or three minutes, but you do need to do one. So let's get ready to warm up. We're going to do an exercise every 30 seconds for two and a half minutes. They gradually get harder and harder. Um, I'm using my swatch, my clock, on my phone to time myself today. Find something to time yourself with. You can just follow me for this workout, but if you want to repeat somewhere else, you might want to have a timer in front of you. All right, let's go. Running on the spot. Okay, now because this is the very first thing we're going to do today, you just want to start off nice and easy. Okay, so it doesn't have to be super hard just yet. We're just getting your body moving. Lift your knees, pump your arms. Don't just want to be like this. Okay, you actually want to be getting all of our muscles warmed up. All right, we've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to move into something called sit to stand. Okay, so keep that running on the spot. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit for these last few seconds. All right, feet shoulder width apart. What I want you to do is to bend forward and touch your toes. Squat down, arms up, push up. So you fold, bend down, arms up, push up. Fold, bend down, arms up, push up. We're warming up our whole body with this exercise. Okay, so fold, bend, arms up, push up. Fold, bend, arms up, push up. Excellent, last one. Now we're gonna go into star jumps, ready? Let's go. So to really warm up from your star jumps, I want you to make sure you're touching your hands above your head so that you're warming up your shoulders as well as your legs and getting your heart rate coming up nice and high. That's halfway through, awesome work. Five more seconds. I know what, you're standing nice and tall with your hands on your hips. Ready, standing, step out. We're going lunges, one leg, then the other leg. Fantastic. So when you're doing your lunges, you want it to be like there's a piece of string, pulling your head up to the sky so that you're super tall, okay? Hands are on your hips, they're not on your legs like this. Okay, you wanna be as tall as you can, feel that through your glutes and your quads. All right, final part of our warm up, guys. We've got 30 seconds fast feet, go. So your feet are going as fast as they can. Keep going. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call up, down, okay? Keep those fast feet going. If I call up, I want you to take a little break, jump up and return to fast feet. If I call down, I want you to touch the ground. All right, we ready? Up, up, down, keep going. Down, down, always return to the fast feet, up down, down, up, 
relax. Okay, go have a quick sip of a drink, then we're gonna get into the main set. Okay team, hopefully you're all warmed up, you've got everything you need, and you're ready to go for Core Crusher. All right, first activity in the round one building block is a normal extended plank hold. So I'm gonna use my phone as a timer. Are we ready? 30 seconds, and let's go. So your wrists are under your shoulders, okay? Body is nice and straight from your head to your heels. If you start to shake, just breathe, that's fine. It just means that your stomach muscles are working. All right, that's 12 seconds in. We're going for 30 seconds, then we get 30 seconds rest. Okay, that's 20 seconds in, 10 more for this first building block. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, we've got 30 seconds rest. After the 30 seconds rest, we go straight back into 30 seconds of plank hold. Then without any rest, we go into the second activity, dead bugs. So you're flat on your back, Feet at tabletop, which means your feet are in line with your knees. And we're going opposite arm to leg, dropping back. You wanna stay engaged through your core the whole time. All right, we're off in 10 seconds. So we're stacking one exercise on top of another this time, just like our building blocks when you were little kids. Ready? And let's go. So plank hold 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go straight into our dead bug. So there's no rest in between. Try and move from one activity to the other as quickly as you can. Gonna go all the way up to two minutes, guys. So we're gonna stack four exercises on top of each other. That is 10 seconds in. So in eight more seconds, we're gonna roll onto our backs for our dead bugs. Three, two, one, let's go, dead bugs. Okay, so make sure those feet are up to tabletop, arms are above you, and we go back. Okay, try and make sure there's not a big arch in your back on the ground. You can push that down to make sure your abs are nice and tight. Keep going, I just wanna move my clock so that I can see it. Got 10 more seconds. And relax, okay, roll up. So we're going 30 seconds rest, then we go 30 seconds plank, 30 seconds dead bug, 30 seconds Russian twist. So your feet are together, feet are together, knees are together. You can have your feet on the ground or up a tabletop. And we're just twisting from one side to the other. So that's the next building block. So it's plank hold, dead bugs, Russian twist. All right, we are off in five seconds. So it's a minute and a half of activity this time. Ready? And let's go. So we've got one more activity to add, which will be two minutes of work. Then we start working our way back down. All right, nice work everybody. Good news is on the way back down, we get rid of the first activity. So you've only got a few plank holds left. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, onto your back. Dead bugs, so feet up to tabletop, arms up above, one arm back. Sorry, opposite arm to leg. Excellent. Remember, get rid of that curve in your back. Make sure that you're pushing your back flat to the ground so that we're engaging the right core muscles. That's 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna roll up, go straight into Russian twist. Five seconds. And up we come. So feet on the ground or up in the air, knees together. Hands together, you're going to twist from side to side. That's 10 seconds in. Okay, 15 seconds in, that's halfway. We get our 30 seconds rest when we finish the rust and twist. 10 more seconds. Five, two, one, relax. Okay, guys, we've got the fourth activity on this building block. So this is our two minute effort. This is the longest one for this set. You're gonna go extended plank, dead bugs, Russian twist, and then you're gonna roll onto your back and we've just got crunches. So um, fingertips at your ears. You just wanna bring your chin up towards your pelvis, okay? So tighten this area. You don't need to come all the way up to your knees. Again, if you wanna make it harder, do the tabletop as you do this. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Longest round. So we go plank, dead bugs, Russian twists, crunches. Then we get a minute's rest in the middle. 
Nice work, everybody. That's 15 seconds into the plank. 10 seconds to go before we're on our backs. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, dead butt, let's go. Nice work. All right, make sure that back is nice and flat on the ground. 15 seconds in, 15 to go, then we're up to our Russian twists. Extra rest after this round. It's a minute's work, two minutes work, one minute rest. And roll up. Okay, choose to have your feet together on the ground or up in the air. Russian twist, let's go. So see if you can follow with your head where those arms are. So you're rotating right through your core. That's 15 seconds in, 15 to go. And then we're just gonna roll onto our back for crunches. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's roll back. So remember your choice is a feet on the ground or feet at tabletop, which means knee and ankle are in line. And coming up. So you don't want to come up any further than this, guys. It should just be like you're trying to tighten between below your ribs and your pelvis. Okay, we've only got 12 seconds left. Hang in there, guys. We've got a full minute's rest after this. And relax. Okay, roll up. All right, guys. What we're going to do now is we're going to reverse and we're going to get rid of the planks. Okay, so we're going to go into a minute and a half. We're going to go crunches. Then we're going to go Russian twist. Then we're going to go dead bugs. Okay, so we reverse everything on the way back down. Whew, hope you're feeling good. Grab a drink of water. You should have your drink bottle right near you like I do. We're starting with crunches this time. Ready? And let's go. So pick if you want your feet on the ground or in the air. It's up to you. If you need to rest, if you're getting a bit fatigued, then you need to rest here for a few seconds to get your breath back. That is totally okay. Right, that's 15 seconds down, 15 to go. Okay, five more seconds. We're going to roll up for Russian twists. And roll up. Okay, so remember, again, you can choose to have your feet on the ground or your feet in the air. Should be really familiar with these exercises all the way down. It's 15 seconds in. 10 more seconds to go, then we roll onto our back for dead bugs. Remember, there's no planks this time around. And onto your back. Let's go. So remember, it's opposite arm to leg. If you've got your right arm going back, it's your left leg and vice versa. Last time we do dead bugs, guys. Going to get rid of the dead bugs after this. Ten more seconds. Five, two, one. Relax. Okay, roll on up. We've only got two exercises in a row this time, okay? So we've done our, uh, we've got rid of our plank, now we're now gonna get rid of our dead bugs. So we're gonna go crunch to Russian twists. We're off in 15 seconds. How's those abs feeling, everyone? We're gonna have a good stretch out in the middle between the first building block and the next. All right, we're off in 10 seconds. Off in five. So get ready for your crunch. Choose if you're gonna have your feet on the ground or feet up at tabletop, ready, and let's go. Two rounds left before our mid-session mini break. Fantastic work. 15 seconds in. Eight seconds to go. And we're gonna move into our Russian twist. So you're just gonna roll up. And roll up. Okay. Side to side, feet on the ground or feet at tabletop, up to you. If you want to go really advanced, you can try with straight legs, but we'll see how we go. 
This is your last round of Russian twists for this activity. Ten more seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Right, okay, we're done with the Russian twist. Guys, 30 seconds rest, then we've just got 30 seconds of crunches. Then we've done the first round of building blocks. We've got one more to go in this session. Hope your horse is feeling okay and that you're nice and strong. We're off in 15 seconds, so get down on your back, get ready. See if you can challenge yourself to the hardest option this time. Okay, if you don't want your feet hanging in the air, you can find something for them to rest on. Okay, you can rest on a bench or a couch or a chair, which is what I might do for this round. Are we ready? 30 seconds, and let's go. So nice and slow, just bringing your chin up, shortening that space, and making your muscles nice and firm between your ribs and your pelvis. That is 15 seconds in. 10 more seconds. Five, two, one, relax. Awesome work, crew. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to have a drink. I'll see you for building block number two. Okay, everybody, you'll now know how a building block set works. We start with one exercise for 30 seconds and then we build up to four exercises of 30 seconds back to back to back, so a two minute effort. First exercise in this building block is plank rotation. So you're in your extended plank again, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll and rotate up to the roof. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can just stay in extended plank, I don't mind. All right, are we ready? First 30 seconds, and let's go. So get yourself nice and stable first. One hand down, rotate to the side. I'm gonna stay nice and tight, so there's no need to do these fast. Okay, just do them nice and control. Always come back to that steady spot in the middle. Reach up to the sky. Some people call these skyscrapers. I've heard some trainers call these skyscrapers. I call them plank rotations. It's all the same thing. And relax. Okay, that's the first one done. We get 30 seconds rest. Next one, what you do after your plank rotations, you roll into a V-sit. So, feet together, knees together. Arms extended, reaching out. You can just lean back like this with your feet on the ground, or you can have your feet up at tabletop. So it's a nice hold, okay? I want you to just make sure you breathe through it like a plank. If you start shaking, that's okay. It's just your muscles working. All right, let's get ready to go into our extended plank rotations again. Ready, and let's go. So we're stacking two exercises, or building the blocks of two exercises on top of each other this round. Plank rotations. That's halfway. And then we go into a nice V sit hold. 10 seconds to go. Okay, into our V sit. All right, feet together, knees together, stretch it out. If you want to make it easier, you're up straighter. If you want to make it harder, Basically, the further you lean back, the harder it is. And also you can increase the difficulty by lifting your feet up. All right, this is just a nice hold. So just breathe into it. That's 15 seconds in. Got 10 seconds left. Five. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, third building block. We're going, plank rotations, V-sit, roll onto your back. This time we've got leg lowers, so it's very similar to dead bugs, but your arms stay still and you just lower one leg at a time. Okay, again, you wanna make sure your back is as flat as possible against the mat so it's not arching up and that'll help you engage the muscles you're meant to engage. Right, we're off in five seconds. Let's get ready for these plank rotations. Building block number three and let's go. So you wanna twist right through your core. That's 10 seconds in, got 20 to go. It gets harder as we start stacking all these exercises on top of each other. Guys, if you need to rest at any stage because you're starting to get a bit fatigued, you can. Just as soon as you've got your breath back, join back in. All right, we're ready into our V-sit. Feet together, knees together, lean it back to your level of difficulty. 
All right, awesome work. Okay, we are 15 seconds in, 15 to go into this V-sit, then we're gonna roll back into our single leg lowers. Okay, eight seconds here in this hold. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, roll back. Arms extended up and one leg, then extend the other leg. So you want to extend your foot so that it's near the ground, but it doesn't touch the ground like that. It pops up just before your foot touches the ground. All right, we have got 12 seconds to go, then we get our 30 seconds rest. Five more seconds. And relax. Okay, final activity is our Spider-Man. So this time, two minutes of work, which is the most we're gonna to work together for this whole building block. Plank rotations, V-sit, single leg hold lowers, and then we go up into extended plank again. We've got our Spider-Man, okay? So knee coming up to elbow, just like Spider-Man scaling a wall. All right, we start in eight seconds. This is our longest consecutive piece of work for this block, then we start coming back down, same pattern as the first round. Ready, and let's go. Last round of plank rotations. So if you're starting to get really fatigued in your plank rotations, you only have 20 seconds of them left. That's 15 seconds in. 10 more seconds. Good work, guys. I'm nearly done with plank rotations. Okay, one more. All right, roll back into V-sit. That's it, no more plank rotations today. Okay, feet together, knees together. Lean backwards, if you wanna make it harder, lean backwards. If you need to make it a bit easier, sit more upright. More upright, is that proper English? Proper English? All right, 15 seconds in, 15 to go, then we're gonna to go to our single leg lowers. 12 more seconds to hold here. Nice work. Hopefully you've got a nice breeze on you too. I've got a nice breeze coming into the garage. Okay, ready? And arms extended up, feet at tabletop. Let's start those single leg lowers. Nice work. Okay, 15 seconds in, 15 to go. And then we're gonna move to our Spider-Man. If that feels too hard for you, you are welcome to stay in an extended plank. We've got five seconds, so we're gonna to have to get back into our front. Ready, and roll up. Okay, get into that plank position as quickly as you can. Make sure you're nice and stable, and then let's start scaling up the wall, like Spider-Man. All right, that is 15 seconds in already. You've only got 15 to go. Make sure you're nice and stable, back's not moving around too much. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one, relax. Whew. All right, you guys know the deal now. We've hit the peak of the building block, two, four in a row. We're now going three, but we're reversing it. So we start with Spider-Man plank. We then go into single leg lowers. We then go into V-sit. We scrap the plank rotations. All right, so it's only a minute and a half of work now. You're doing really well. We're nearly at the end of this session. There's only stretches after this. All right, we've got eight seconds into our Spider-Man planks. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So this is hard work, hard work guys. These are very fatiguing activity. With, there's lots of different ways you can do core work, particularly with your abdominals and back. You can do static holds where it's just a hold, like your plank or your V-sit. You can do rotation activities, which is like your Russian twist and your plank rotations, or you can do crunch activities. Okay, there's lots of different ways. And let's go onto our back, single leg lowers, arms extended for the tabletop. There's lots of different ways you can do a core workout and particularly an ab workout. Okay, that's 15 seconds in. Then we're going to go to our last V-sit in 10 seconds. Okay, five more seconds. Two, one, let's roll up. Okay, guys, this is the last V-sit you're doing today. We're getting rid of it after this one. So feet together, 
knees together. Last 90 second round of work for today as well. 20 more seconds. Hold it here. If you're starting to struggle, just breathe through it. Stay nice and relaxed in your shoulders. Reach forward. We've got 10 more seconds left. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, no more V-sits. All right, one minute of work this time. Spider-Man plank into our single leg lowers. Last time we do single leg lowers. All right, we're getting there guys. A minute and a half left of work and then we get to have a drink, have a stretch and you're done. Hopefully you feel great. Remember to go to the link at the end of the workout and fill in how you're feeling out of 10 as well. Off in five seconds, we're ready for our Spider-Man planks. Okay, ready and let's go. Spider-Man planks. So you wanna stay nice and stable. If it's too much for you to do the Spider-Man planks, just stay in that extended plank hold. Remember if you need a rest, just drop onto your knees, get your breath back, and as soon as you're able, come back up again and get going. This is meant to be a bit challenging, guys, so don't worry if you're finding it a bit hard. Three, two, one. Onto your back, single leg lowers. Final round of this, arms extended, legs at tabletop, let's go. Make sure that back's not arching. Make sure you're nice and strong through your core so that it's not coming up every time you lower your leg. That is 15 seconds in. We've got 15 seconds to go of leg lowers for today. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one, roll up. All right, 30 seconds rest. And then we've just got 30 seconds of Spider-Man planks. We are done. So let's really try and work hard. Try and do Spider-Man planks the whole 30 seconds. Okay, if you've been taking rest, see if you can challenge yourself for this final 30. If you've been able to do it, see if you can increase your intensity or increase the speed for this last 30 seconds. We've got eight seconds left. We're off in five. Final 30 seconds of work for today, everybody. Let's do it. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Okay, so remember, I'm gonna keep your back nice and flat, a nice straight line from your head to your heels. Okay, that is 10 seconds in. Keep it up. That is 15 seconds in, so that is halfway. 20 in, 10 to go. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, give yourself a clap, pat on the back, high five, fist pump, whatever your style is. Well done on completing another workout, guys. Exactly the same as workout one. Walk around the room, let your breath Slow down, let your heart rate come down. Grab your drink bottle, make sure you get plenty of water in. Pick at least three stretches to do. Hold them for 30 seconds, so things like a tricep stretch, um, when you're standing up, a quad stretch. I don't think I need to tell you what sort of stretches to do. Just pick three of them, hold them for 30 seconds. That was a building block style workout today. So all you need to do is pick four exercises, build them on top of each other, then come back down again. Thank you, we'll see you next time. Okay, at the end of your session, it's always important to cool down. So make sure you take a little walk, even if you just walk around the room until your breath starts to drop and your heart rate starts to come down. Do a few stretches, make sure you have drink plenty of water. And again, make sure you go to the link at the bottom of this video and fill in all of the different questions that it asks you to do. All right guys, um, have a great week.